Alberti Valley Bulldogs to the Chilliwack Chiefs. Ready to go at it here. Macon, Atkins, Dobbs, Gosselin, the penalty killers. Chiefs power play unit has Kawaguchi, Hopper, hot carried hard and dumped in by hand from center. Down in the left half boards by Craig Popper, who has the Chiefs' lone goal of the game. Dobbs trying to dig it loose. Found it. Now it's a cross-ice pass. Right wing wrist shot and off the glove of Christopoulos and up and out of play. A fantastic it considers shoots. And Blackman, Dobbs, and White for the points. Fans start making some noise. Bulldogs defend the end to our left. Referee waved off any possible high stick making contact. One timer out front went wide short side on a dangerous look. Shoots trying to get it out. Macon will skate it out. Through center ice. Headman pass. Possible break. Drew Macon. It's Drew Blackman scores! Snuck it in low. And he threw Blackman and the dogs have a 2 1 lead. How did Macon make that pass, Bruce? Probably about the positioning of the face off. It was outside the Bulldog line and it's found by Troy Dobbs and then he falls down to the near corner. Put it off the end boards. Chiefs get possession up, cross ice pass, high slot one, timer, loose puck, blocked. What a block by, who was this? Hall's catching up, Bulls driving, right in on net, backhand, he scores! A beautiful goal, one handing it through the legs of Polino, and the full lines come up 3-1. Well, I'm thinking maybe two on one, but he thought, no way, I'm just going. There's no substitute for speed in this game. Obviously, uh, a very tough road trip uh, heading all the way to Prince George and then coming back to the mainland and playing two games in the mainland. But, you know, these guys are starting to do a lot of good things, uh, some detail in their game and, you know, playing well away from the puck and doing all the intangibles, you know, face-offs and, you know, all those kind of things are all paying, uh, paying off here now. So that's why we're, uh, we are where we are and we certainly have an opportunity to uh, even be better. Bulldogs head coach Kevin Willison. Number one versus two battle uh, in the, the division. First time we've hosted this team. You, know, you must be uh, pretty excited. It's, it's one of those quote, quote, big games. Well, they're always big hammer, uh, especially this time of the season. Uh, it's nice to uh, be able to come home uh, after a great road trip and, uh, you know, continue to uh, play well. And, and we're hosting the number one team, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, it should be a great game. And, you know, the rivalry uh, has just begun. <laughs> Got to be disciplined, stay out of the box. Let them do all that and we'll capitalize, okay? Just doing the little things, puck movement. Let's make sure we're having fun, right? That's the end of the day. We need everybody here, boys. Ready to go here? Come on, boys, let's go here. Valley Bulldogs and the Novel Clippers ready to meet for the first time this season on Dog Pound Ice. We told you the starting goaltenders, Billy Christopoulos for the Bulldogs, sees the Clippers for the first time. Guillaume de Cialis makes his third start against the Bulldogs. Ready to go, Bruce. You never know how many people are actually listening until things go wrong. Right? That's true, that's for sure. Game's underway as well as the Clippers gain the draw and dump it in. Icing waved off. Near corner, Drew White took a hard hit from Rolston. Face off will come to the right of de Cialis in the Clipper net to our right. Scoreless time, 47 seconds in. Garrett Halls, left-hand corner. Locks up the left half boards. Spins back to the wall as he walked to the middle for a moment. Now centers Hogan, one-timer scores! Make that four straight games! And it's one nothing. five straight games! And it's one nothing less than a minute in. Sheets wants to stay on his left wing and sends Bacon over to the right side. Draws one with the Clippers and put up the near side. Nicholas Carrier held in by Brent Stewart. High slot is Scotty Clark. Fan of the shot. Grab that quick release and the puck didn't cooperate. Carried by Carrier back in the net. Aishel's played a little pick on Scotty Clark. Pass at centers off the stick of Brent Stewart. It's Rempel left wing over the Bulldog line. Rest shoots his check, but Gosselin leads a rush. Gosselin hired. Attack right up the middle of the line. Cuts right wing. Bottom of the right circle. Center! A 
save was right in the net on a redirect right at the front of the goal, and this will be a very interesting conversation. Certainly was in. It was in the net. Did it go in before the net came off as the key? That's a really tough call. You guys are capable of playing. Better than that team. The only thing is, is that they're all working us. They're here, they're just working hard. You guys are trying to think. You don't need to think to play the game. We need to play hard. We need to be first on pucks, and we need not to give the pucks away when we have it. That's what's getting us in trouble. Alrighty? Come on, boys, let's think about it here. Come on. Let's go, right, boys. All up a neutral zone face-off. It's a long pass again and a possible two on one. Left wing, wrist shot scores! Beautiful top corner, perfect picking of the corner there. Yeah, the dogs are just one step behind them right now, and that's, uh, there's only a matter of time, I hate to say it, but uh, the dogs are gonna have to turn it around a bit here and get the puck going the other way. Deep for Macon in the right corner. Macon, up the right half boards for Clark, now right corner. Clark spins out of traffic to the right point, Gossip. Right half boards, Clark. Pressured hard by Hanlon, one hands it for Macon, right corner. All to the outside, but moving the puck nicely now. Gosselin's wrist shot's blocked. And now it's a foot race with Hanlon on a short-handed breakaway. Hanlon in on goal, Deking scores! It went off Christopoulos, off Gosselin, and in. Painful. And it's a 3-1 Clipper lead. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, fellas, we're pulling our goalie right now. Pulling our goalie right now. Okay. Obviously, you got to win the faceoff hammer. That's the key is to win the faceoff, and then you've got uh, you've got some chances to set things up. You start... Yeah, it's a dangerous game to pull the goalie because it's a free icing for the well, opposition. It's free icing anyhow because uh, they're shorthanded. So, That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Draw will uh, come to day sales left. Yeah, but when you're down two, you got to win two hammers. So there's two yep. ways of looking at it, and they're they're pulling the goalie right now. Six on five, it'll be naked. Gossel shoots, Halls, Clark, Stewart. Draw to day sales left. Well, I'm trying to make a game of it, make Wolsey. it wins it. Clark for Stewart. Cross ice bouncer Drew. front pedal in the crease and put out of the net. Rammed around as Gosselin pinches and a good job to keep it in left half boards. Battle continues as the puck remains in the zone. Scott Clark over the poke at left half boards. Comes to the high slot and it's held in by Gosselin again, left point. Right point, Stewart keeps it in, fires it, scores! Five to go. Who do you give all the credit to keeping that puck in? Kurt Gosselin. Right 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 Time on Denimo. They want to slow this building down, and he can't blame them. Because all of a sudden it's a one goal game with 2.35 to, to play. You got to give Denimo credit. They came, they were ready to play, and uh, they took it to the dogs hard. However, the dogs did have a chance and uh, just fell short. That's tonight's Alberni Valley Bulldogs game here for the Dog Pound in Port Alberni with the Clippers winning it by a score of 5-2. to two. We'll have the energy player of the game brought to you by Fortis BC and the three-star selection as well. I didn't see this coming. I'm blindsided by this. The effort, especially the first 40 minutes. It comes down to the personnel and their mindset. Yeah. It's tough to swallow, fellas, because I certainly didn't see this coming, this kind of effort. Um, but I guess, you know, being young, young gentlemen and needing to learn and, and grow up and be mentally tough and prepare yourself for game in, game out, it's a learning curve. So, you know, coming in here and being cocky, uh, you know, after going 3-0 and on the weekend, sure. I mean, it's it's all good. But the thing is, you got to follow it up, especially when you're at home. <laughs> it's a little disappointing. It's a little little tough to swallow right now. But it is what it is. So the thing is, is that, you know, those fans out there had to... A lot of them stood and watched you guys play. So tomorrow morning, everybody here at 6 a.m., and we'll watch. We'll watch it again. Okay? So curfew tonight. By 10:30 in the in the in the house, 6 a.m. here tomorrow morning. Everybody, alrighty, fellas. That's the way it is. It's, it's everything's a learning curve. 